Okay. 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 I'm all right. Right, what's this then? I'm in a state of shock here. We've got scrolls, we've got... Oh my god, we've got all sorts of stuff. It's been sorted. Oh, right. Bear with me, Redirect folks. Just, to I need to get up. my bearings. Oh, look at all this. There's just no physical... Right, all potions, literally every single... Oh, you can't give... Every single potion that go down can carry, he's going to have to carry. Right, let's put some things on the floor for a moment here. I'll pick it up in a, in a minute. This is the important thing, is this blooming key. Right. Give me all your potions, guys. Any potions that are in your inventory, give them to me. We'll have to sort through these at a later time. We cannot cluster our inventory with uh, with potions. Mira, same for you. Give me all of your potions. We're going to have to do some carrying here. So we need as much slots as we can get. All right. Okay, that's the first right, step. Sort of. We'll go and pick up everyone's stuff as best we can. Uh, potions. We'll put her potions into our potion case. She's got this absolute crap ton of arrows. Uh, give me a scroll case and your gem bag. I can store some of your arrows in here, not all of them, but some of them. Other people might have... Jesus. She had tons of stuff, didn't she? Bandit scalps. Uh... Pick up her sword and her bow. So how much you got five slots? Let me give you some stuff. I need to make some room for these scrolls I'm gonna pick up and read in a minute. Get rid of some of these regular arrows and replace them with some enchanted arrows, I think. Okay, you've got some room. Just bear with me. Uh, you know, imagine in the original game, you didn't have potion cases and scroll cases and, and, and gem bags, so it was even worse. You were forced to leave stuff behind. Oh, look at you, Mr. Yeslick. He stood there twiddling his thumbs, whistling away. Doo -doo -doo. Yes, you struggle with your inventory while I stand here with nothing in my bags. Blowing out another brand one here. Right, you take some of that stuff. That just makes life a lot easier. Thank you very much. Right, I think we're fine now, aren't we? I think we're fine. Go on, I'm on it. Apart from the fact that Imwin's dead. Apart from that, we're fine. Right, what else did you drop? Three scrolls, which we will read in a moment. There's still stuff to do Speak here. Now. I'm on it. No, I don't Speak want to talk. We've got... Um... A quick save it in case something goes horribly wrong between Try to keep up. now and the end of the session. Can't force the lock on that chest. Should be a way to flood this mine though, shouldn't they? Wants to yes, it wants to flood the mine. Okay, let's read these scrolls in case they hold some valuable information about how we can flood this mine. Davion. I received a request for extra slaves. They will be sent as soon as possible. Events go well in Baldur's Gate. We have purchased one of the Western Noble Estates to use as our base of operations. It is an ancient building, most likely constructed before the erection of the second wall. Its construction makes it very defensible against those who would thieve it. Remember to ask Yeslik if he enjoys his new accommodations. Sure. You'll be speaking to him in person soon enough. Davion, our plans go smoothly. Saravok has arrived from our headquarters in Orgelin. 
He brings news from our superiors. They are pleased with our progress so far. I plan to place Saravok as a commander of our mercenary forces in the region. He has already sent his subordinate Tezok to the Wood of Sharp Teeth to take command of the forces located there. Things go apace here in Baldur's Gate. We have placed our first agent among the ranks of the Seven Sons, Trading Costa. I think this is the first time we've come across Saravok's name. A new name to ponder, Saravok. We've got Saravok, we've got Real Tower, we've got Davion who's now dead. A whole host of different commanders in the uh, in the Iron Throne. Davion, as you've probably heard, the Iron Poison has begun to take effect around the coast. With the majority of the iron imports being distributed by Tezok, almost all of it comes from the tainted source in Nashkel. A Sicilian uprising in arm has ensured that no forces from that nation will be able to take action against our mercenary forces. However, the Flaming Fist has caught several of the Black Talon mercenaries. All of those captured have claimed allegiance with the Zentarim and have thus shifted any suspicion away from the Iron Throne. I have sent Transig to work with the mercenaries in transporting the iron to your base in Cloakwood. He has brought several bags of holding so that he alone will make trips into Cloakwood, thereby lessening the chance that Flaming Fist trackers might find your stronghold. So we're going to make a few bits of plans here, some of which have already come to pass and some of which might, might not have just yet. And if he's got any of those bags of holding spare, we could do with them. <laughs> right. Godan is really right. in no state to ponder any sort of m scroll or message, really, at this point. Right, what's this, then? After what's just happened to Immerwin and the fact that we're trying to still figure out a way to, to, to be able to flood this mine. So, once he goes to bed this evening, Go he will on, read back over these notes. And, uh, read back over these notes and uh, ascertain exactly what they are telling him and what they do, or what they make reference to. We've got no Immuan now, so no trap finding ability. No lock opening ability. We've got another mage down here, by the looks of it. I'm just hoping to God that they're not hostile. Because I really can't face another fight. No! You! You killed Davion? Oh, please don't kill me. Please, oh, please, oh, please. I'm just his apprentice, I swear. I don't know anything. Okay, I know a little, but I was only his student. Honest, I can I can help you. Yeah, I can give you information. Ask me something. Go and ask me anything. What was the purpose of this installation? The mine? Uh, I think they were going to try to look like the saviors of the day. Riding in with their stores of iron to equip troops or something like that. With the bandit raids and the rumours about arm, the Iron Throne figured that the Dukes of Baldur's Gate would think they needed arms and ore quickly, in case of army and attack. They they figured they could get exorbitant prices, or better yet, sanctions against competitors and an easing of trade laws for themselves only. A quick way to install themselves as an underground power on the coast. That's all I know about it, I swear. Who's behind this iron shortage? Who's behind it? Um, well... The Iron Throne, I guess. Davion ran this place for the regional bosses in the Baldur's Gate. They used some strange potion to taint iron already stored. It used Mullahay to keep new ore from being mined, and had the bandits raid any incoming trading caravans. It doesn't take long for perceived shortages to embellish real threats. You know all of this, if you are the one who killed Mullahay. Can I go now? Get out of my sight! Oh, there's one more question to ask. Ah, ah never mind. I'm off his scuppers. The Iron Throne is the organisation behind the Iron Crisis. Though I think their name is just a coincidence. Mullahay was to destroy the effectiveness of the Nashkel mines while Bandage stopped incoming caravans. The perceived threat of the shortage likely inflamed fears and exaggerated the problem. Right. Where on earth do we flood this mine? Plenty of plenty more scrolls. Oh, 
Oh, it's on the first level. It must have been that big door that we saw. That big, like, vault-like door. That must be it. Oh my god, how many scrolls have we got here? There's actually a, a load of stuff for me to sift through <laughs> when we get back to civilization. I will listen for now. Try to keep up. Spit it out. Sorted. You right, what's this then? No idea where we're going here. Oh, an ooze. Mustard jelly. Go on then. Down with you, you jelly! I'm on it. Curses! Peter Red. Just when you need Ibuan, she's not here. Huh. Luckily we have Dawn here as well. Proving quite useful. Okay. Speak and be gone. I'm on it. Curse this inventory. Curse it. I will. It shall be even bloodier than you hope. Okay, right. Uh, dimension. Is that dimension door? Oh, it's knock. Ooh. So a lot of spells, a lot of potions. A lot, a lot, a lot of everything at the moment. You right. This has been quite. Oh, there's another chest there. I missed it. Wreck, try to keep up. Oh, more scrolls. Surprise, surprise. De -de -de, the mini game of inventory continues. Go on then, I'm on it. Right, are we done here? Spit it out. Are we done here? I'm on it. I think we're done. <laughs> Finally. I uh, don't think there's anything else left to loot. Nobody is left alive. We have got all we came for. We have information, we have scrolls, we have cleared the mine. One Please last thing left to do. Is to do. I'm on it. Is to plug this, but it's not interactable for some reason. Unless I can only do it with Yesley. Unless we speak to this miner, maybe. I don't know, but uh, this seems to be the only thing that resembles a plug. You right. Save me, dear sir. Please save me. If you set me free, sir, I can tell you how to bring this mine crashing down around the heads of these fat-headed slavers. Tell us. Well, see, here's how it is. The way to bamboozle these ninnies is real easy. Right here beside me is a steel plug that stops us up the river on the surface. If you were to release that, then this whole mine would be drowned. Only the master of the mine has a key to open the plug. Yes, yes, yes. You know how to operate this key? There's a dwarf on the second level of the mine, isn't it? Yes, he's right in front of your face. Uh-oh. I got a feeling we're going to get some negative reputation for this, because we remember that we didn't let Rill, Rill have the hundred coins to, to get the miners out, which means that if we we open this floodgates, Save the miners are going to be drowned in here. Save me, dear sir. Such is life, Godan thinks. Such is life. How do we how do we interact with this? Help us, please. Open the plug. Oh. Oh. Fine. I'm on it. Fine, fine, fine. Nera's face 
horrified at the prospect of all these innocent slaves drowning here. Boots of bloody speed. Come on, get me down there. I'll speak to Rill. Give him a hundred coin. You must gather your party. You right. Oh, curses. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> and even uh, Yeslik being lawful good and all that is like, what about the the, the, the slaves? Like, oh, what about the slaves? Dawn's like, yeah, what about the bloody slaves? We've got the loot, we've got the plunder, Davion's dead, let's get the hell out of here! Yeah, go down torn between various people. Right, where was this real... Go on, then. So you guys wait here, I'll sort this mess. Hundred gold bloody pieces. The only reason why is I'm assisting is because of the fact that at least I have more than a hundred pieces of gold in loot from this place. Oi! Help us, please. Here's a hundred gold. Now get out of this damn hellhole, okay? Right. Bloody soft touch I am. Go down stinking. Bloody soft touch. I told them that they could get out of their own accord. That the upper levels were free of guards. They need bloody leading by the hand. Sorted. Namby damn pamby. Let's flood this joint and get back to civilization. Raise Imowen and then hopefully have at least two or three days off enjoying the, the fruits of our labour. Sorted. You! Yes, your friends are safe. Here's the key. Now bloody flood this place. Run for our lives? Not a problem. I've got boots of speed for God's sake. Oh, there's a floater there. Let's hope it's one of the guards, not one of the miners. Hello, pal. You saved us. The rest of us have fled to the north towards Baldur's Gate, but I elected to stay so as to thank all of you. Without your heroics, who knows how long we'd be working at Horrible Mine. I'm just glad we didn't end up in the watery grave down there like the rest of the Iron Throne mercenaries. You bunch of chumps. <laughs> What the hell do you think you were you doing? Right. You bunch of chumps. Right, I'm going to save it here. It's been a long, long session. This is my clan war. <sighs> it's been a long, long session. We need to head back to the friendly arm, take stock of what's happened, sort through a whole plethora of scrolls, potions, raise Imowen, have a couple of days off, and then when we return, I'll have to ascertain what the hell we're going to do next. But I have a feeling it's going to involve trying to find Tezok. Or maybe not. Maybe it's going to involve heading to Baldur's Gate. We'll have to uh, we'll have to think things through over a nice flagon of ale or two. Or three. Or ten. <laughs> Join me next time. See you soon.